Elder Erastus Snow next addressed the congregation. Of all people that dwelt on the, place, on the face of the earth, none are under greater obligations to God than the Latter-day Saints. We have representatives here from nearly every nation under heaven, and we see the various races in this territory mingling together with their various phases and characteristics. It is not a new gospel or new Christianity that God has revealed, but a fuller development of what existed before. The Christian people of Europe and America have so widely strayed from the simple principles of Christianity, as taught in the primitive age, that as a consequence, infidelity stalks through the land. They have lost the keys of power, and it became necessary that God should again reveal those keys in these latter days. The idea of God having neither body, parts, nor passions was without either reason or scripture to sustain it. Godliness is not a mystery except to the ignorant. All is simple and easy to comprehend to the mind that is enlightened by the Spirit of God. All things are governed by law and are comparatively simple when understood. The crude ores of the mountains, after being manipulated by the science of chemistry, are converted into useful articles of daily life. Our spirits are the express image of our tabernacles, and, united together, the scriptures inform us, are the ex-duties of our religion, that we may become a kingdom of priests and entitled to all the blessings and glories that belong to the holy priesthood. Our course is onward. Let us take courage and do right, and when the reign of righteousness sets in, whatever glory and happiness we may expect, we shall enjoy, if we only continue to faithfully keep the commandments of God.